Hey guys, I wanted to thank you for the great response to my last couple of videos. I tried to keep up with the comments, but I had to go forage for roots and grubs. I know that many of you are having a hard time buying into the media narrative surrounding the pandemic. We aren't really the panicky type. I wake up every morning and think, am I sure this isn't a dream? A great society shutting down in fear of a virus that, in the worst case scenario, will be survived by 99% of us. But that's what's happening. Among my remaining lefty friends, there seems to be an almost feral zeal. When they discuss the virus, they sound like backwoods Pentecostals ranting about sin. They aren't peddling salvation, though. They're trafficking in fear. I went out hunting food at dawn this morning. I'd heard that a store near my home was doing a special senior hour from 7 to 8 a.m. I thought, great, I'll pop in early and grab a few staples. So I set the alarm, got there at a quarter after 7, and this is what I found. Can you believe this shit? Look at this, lines around the block. Isn't that amazing? This is just a, lines around the block at a food place. What the hell? It's a, this is complete nuttiness. Look at this line. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do another shopping video, but check this out. This is the entrance on the south side of the building. Here's the west side. This is the north side. And here's the east side. A couple of hundred seniors lined up at first light with a storm coming in. That's called crisis management. One of the employees was circling around giving a pep talk, reminding everybody to keep a proper social distance. At one point, he tried to start a sing-along, I shit you not. The crowd was in no mood for a kumbaya moment. Finally, I ended up in a literal bread line at my other local store, and I got provisions to last a few days. What keeps tugging at my mind is how expertly the media is playing the emotions of the American people. I don't have a TV, but I search out some shows online, so I see what the mainstream media is up to. Every story consists of two core ingredients, a scare story about how this pandemic is spreading at lightning speed, and a dismissal of the president as a lying, incompetent boob. Yet even as Trump heads the government, they can only offer government as their solution. They're in a real quandary. This is why they have to portray the CDC as a heroic team of underdogs that has barely survived attacks by the Orange Terror. They go back and forth between scary shit from the World Health Organization and scary shit from Italy, liberally sprinkled with criticisms of the president. We all know that leftism is a secular religion. On the right, people have actual religion, so they have a way to diffuse their emotions. If they get spooked by a virus or a food shortage, they take their fear to a higher power and say, okay, God, this is more than I can handle at the moment. I know you're calling the shot, so I'm gonna let you do your thing. The left, for the most part, has no God. Still, they are designed in such a way that they need a God. So they look at the state as God, the press as the clergy, themselves as apostles and angels, and the Republicans as Satan's legions. That would be easy for them to manage if they had the White House. When the H1N1 virus hit, they saw Obama's administration as the deity, conservatives as the evil kingdom, and the virus as an inconvenience. Their religion was intact, so there wasn't much anxiety. The media as clergy dispensed information about the morality of virus management and the country hardly missed a step. But now Donald Trump sits atop their beloved central government, a demon on the rightful throne of a secular god. It's an affront to all they hold sacred. Their whole internal life is geared to building a collective America that will be protected, instructed, and rewarded by the almighty state. They see Trump at the reins of the heavenly chariot and their guts twist into knots. How do you report on a crisis when you're in their position? How do you advocate for blind allegiance to government while blaming that very government for the crisis?
Self-reflection is not encouraged on the left. They are only allowed collective reflection, and that isn't even a thing. If they admit that the collective fucked up, they're branded as heretics, so they make the same mistakes over and over just to be safe from one another. Really. The big cities are all run by Democrats. The shutting down of the culture that we're seeing is Democrats shutting themselves down. Every city that slows and stops is a giant collectivist body curling into the fetal position. This very real virus that they've tried to make into an existential threat isn't really scaring conservatives. Conservatives just trust God and get back to work. The progressive clergy is scaring the bejesus out of their own voters. No wonder they buy a pallet load of everything. Their so-called leaders have been telling them for three years that the world is ending soon and that the president can only make things worse. It's marching music on repeat. The Me Too hysteria, the collusion farce, the Kavanaugh debacle, the impeachment shitstorm. These were all rifles that they turned on themselves. This weaponized virus attack is only making them weaker and less credible. I can't count the number of moderate liberal thinkers who are easing ever closer to crossing that center line. You've heard of Dr. Drew Pinsky? When I was a kid, his father, Morton Pinsky, was our family doctor. I had tonsillitis a bunch of times when I was young. Dr. Pinsky would always let me wait in his own office. I remember all the framed family pictures of his beautiful blonde kids in matching sweaters, like a King family album cover. Drew was the kid that was my age, and the doctor would always tell me about what Drew was doing. As an adult, Dr. Drew has always been a voice of reason. I figured him for a centrist Democrat. But listen to this clip of him ripping the media. I'll link the whole thing below. I don't claim to know what's motivating the media, but my God, their reporting is absolutely reprehensible. They should be ashamed of themselves. They are creating a panic that is far worse than the viral outbreak. The, the bottom line, everybody, is listen to Anthony Fauci at the CDC, do what he tells you, and go about your business. But that's the story. There's not one doctor I've spoken to that disagrees with me, not one. I, I ran into an agreement with Dr. Oz last night. He was saying the same thing. We're all telling you the same thing. Stop listening to journalists. They don't know what they're talking about. Make no mistake, Dr. Drew knows the media very well. He knows that 90% of them are Democrats, and he held nothing back. He's not afraid of them anymore. Something is changing. Look, I'm doing the Fauci Macarena like everybody else. We are stuck with this shutdown. But I'm satisfied that Trump's team is playing it straight. The sooner we crush the curve and get beyond this thing, the better. If we all play it cool, watch our money, help our neighbors, and be, as always, the adults in the room, wise people will notice that it was the working class who quietly held the country together while the media tried once again to tear us apart. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and then click the little bell to get notifications.